Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just figured that I would do a kind of how to um, when it comes to doing my hair natural slash curly like this. Um, I really never wear it like this. I don't know if I'm just lazy or what, but it is absolutely pouring outside today. And my hair would just get messed up if I did anything else. So I said, why not? Let me just do this. And I figured that I would film it. Um, because a lot of people ask me about my curly hair. And this is it right here. So this is the finished product. So let's hop right into the products that I use and how I get this look. Okay, so first product I use is mousse. This is key to getting... A lot of volume and this is just herbal essences curl boosting volume mousse and what i do is just squirt like a nice healthy dollop onto my hand and then i just target my roots next is the pantene curl affair curl reshaping cream so i just do like four squirts and that's plenty and then I just scrunch it into my hair. Of course, I'm kind of off screen because my hair is so long, but yeah. So I just scrunch it all into my hair. Next is the Garnier Fructis Curl Renew Reactivating Milk Spray. So you just spray it all over your hair. Then I just scrunch up. So after every product I put in my hair, I scrunch to get the curl going again and just training it to be curled again. Next is a sea salt beach wave spray. This one just so happens to be my ancient spray from when I worked at Pink. So any sea salt spray that you have will work fine for this. Next is the Garnier Fructis Curl Sculpt Conditioning Gel Cream. I love all of Garnier Fructis' products and their curl products work really well for my hair personally. And with this cream gel, I really like it because it doesn't leave a super, super stiff hold on your curls. I kind of like when they look a little bit more natural. So the hold being a three out of five is just a personal preference depending on the curled look that you're going for. Okay, next is just a Dove hairspray. It doesn't have to be Dove, whatever hairspray you like. I just had Dove on hand, so that's what I'm using. And what you are going to do next is take any pajama t-shirt, old t-shirt. A t-shirt is so much better than a towel because it's going to reduce the amount of frizz that you have, which we definitely do not want. So what you're going to do is you're just going to lay it on your bed or wherever and just start tucking it around your hair until it's all secure and then i just kind of fastened mine away with a clip so that it would stay in place because you're going to be wearing this for 45 minutes so that it's just about three quarters of the way dry so i did my makeup in the meantime i painted my nails whatever you gotta do to pass the time. Okay, so it has been the 45 minutes my hair doesn't look it, <laughs> but it is just about three quarters of the way dry and you can see the curls were kind of drying into shape um, already, but now we are going to take our diffuser and attach it to our hair dryer. Mine are both Conair, I've had this hair dryer forever. And what you're going to do is you're going to leave the hair dryer off and you're going to collect a small section of hair into the diffuser and then turn it on to low warm heat for a couple seconds and then you're going to turn it off again and then release your hair. By doing this, you're going to minimize frizz as much as you possibly can because you won't have air blowing on your hair when it's not in the diffuser. And then once your hair starts to get more dry, you can start adding bigger sections of hair into the diffuser. And now is my volume spray by Way. I just spray this around the crown of my head so that I get the most volume possible. And then back to diffusing some more. And some more hairspray just to lock everything into place. And we are not done diffusing yet. Hair's still a little bit wet. It is a long process, but worth it in the end. So diffuser is on, turning it off, releasing the hair, repeat. 
Now for some anti-frizz spray by Living Proof. Just gonna spray that all over my hair. The more the merrier, right? All right, guys, and that's pretty much it. Honestly, it's really easy. The hardest part is just turning the um, hair dryer on and off like a million times. Like that's kind of annoying, but I mean, it's worth it in the end. I My hair isn't really frizzy at all. And I mean, if it was a little bit, I use that Living Proof um, defrizz mist. So yeah, this is the final product. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Um, if you try to diffuse your hair before and maybe you had some trouble. So let me know in the comments if this helped you. And if you didn't already subscribe, you know what to do. All right, guys. Well, I will see you next time. Bye.